several times in each chapter we see how helpless krishna is we find weakness lording over strength exactly because it is weak shrimad bhagavad gita is an epic struggle and krishna is the struggler it 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 all tugs at your heart strings it's actually a song as much of melancholy as of wisdom that's the reason i love the gita pranam acharya ji um related exactly to what you just said about women i'm the father of a high school daughter and i have just one daughter <coughs> and probably i have tried to raise her exactly on the lines that you have always told me um she is very good at studies she is a fantastic dancer she completed her arangetram and graduated in bharatnatyam already she is in her high school basketball team she knows how to play musical instruments she wins poem competitions every year in her school and amongst all the regional school districts and she was recently selected into um one of the top high schools by clearing an entrance exam and you won't believe the pressure she has because in the school that she was selected there are more girls than boys actually okay so the ratio is a little squid and uh, the pressure that she feels is that some of the other girls are <coughs> more better in I, i'm unable to come up with the word adai that <laughs> that the other girls have boyfriends in there but you know but she is more focused in all of that thing and how do i convince my daughter or i would say you know how do i raise my daughter so that she doesn't feel that pressure even though she is doing better in all the life and second thing is just related exactly to that is how women are unable to do is think about it <laughs> at the same time when the soccer world cup was happening last year okay everybody was glued only to the men's argentina in cricket team and how messi was playing which is great i'm not i'm not against messi here okay but at the same time uh, the indian women's cricket team was also doing really well okay and nobody was discussing that at all and i feel sometimes it is not i feel that women themselves do not watch whether it is women's cricket or women's basketball or any of the women's sports the day when women will start watching women's sports and support women's uh, sports activities they themselves will do well so you know the that's that so there are two questions one at a generic level and one at a personal example level that's that's what my question you see the the standards have to be set very high uh, see it's like when you when you when you exercise with uh, with 15 kg weights after that the 5 kg ones just stop mattering because the standards have been raised similarly she has to be introduced to women who who really are worthy of being remembered and then her internal standards will rise to a point where she'll stop caring for uh, the stylos and the hipsters otherwise if she feels that these are the only ones available in her world to compare herself against obviously she'll uh, feel left behind or uh, disadvantaged your standards have to be very very high na and why must you allow your environment to dictate your standards let those standards come from books and documentaries and videos and uh, other places books primarily 
if if she for example spends an entire week reading the life story of marie curie how after that will she afford to give respect to a certain let's say let's say pari pari in her class who is a dimwit from here but is uh, fantastically regarded because of her body and her style and her dressing and her boyfriends after you have been with kuri how will you respect pari that's the thing that's why education is the real thing give her give her real solid role models and then she will become not just disregardful but disdainful of all these uh, typical teenagers hmm so so that's what uh, if you if i do not know what what is what what kind of highness is possible then any kind of lowness will become the gold standard for me that's why reading is so important otherwise anybody in your environment will come and influence you and and uh, boss you from within and it happens uh, a lot in school and in college huh? some local kind of stud just just becomes the dominant hero and who is he worthless chap but he can take away a very large uh, chunk of your mind and life we all know of these people from our college days don't we some random worthless fellow but he dominates the scene in the school in the college in the university and he dominates it so much that he can influence uh, a lot of his batchmates uh, to take wrong kinds of decisions inductive effect no one wrong role model one very wrong kind of very mediocre but powerful mediocre but powerful and attractive and glitzy and this fellow becomes uh, the the impression creator the goal setter and he mm, induces a lot of uh, batchmates into uh, into the wrong kind of attitudes lifestyle and ultimately wrong life decisions and that can be taken care of very easily just give your daughter the right role models right role models give her great books see what what her preferred mode of assimilation is if it's visual take her to the right documentaries the right movies see how she likes to absorb information and give that to her and there are just so so many names so many names we have talked of them frequently even on ap circle hmm? women women worth respecting women worth even even worshiping and they exist they have existed in history why must we not take note of them why must we not introduce those glorious women to our daughters but that's not being done mainstream education is not doing that all right let fathers and mothers do that hmm? otherwise the danger is very real some pari will become her her idol i want to be like pari and then she'll drop her dancing her sports her recitation her poems her elocution her passion everything she'll drop and she'll just start chasing boyfriends so that she can stand up to somebody like pari i call these nodes of evil they are not too many but they are highly influential they set the bar they have to be fought against and they can be very young typically we don't want to associate the word evil with a teenager 
But the reality is, yes, even teenagers can be evil. A 15 year old can be evil. That does not mean that the 15 year old has to be killed. That means that he has to be corrected. Hmm? Maybe, maybe as Parents, you and her mother, you need to sit together and first of all figure out who who are the names you must introduce your daughter to. Right? Is 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 she reading something from Sarojini Naidu? If she's uh, interested in Hindi, has she been brought to Mahashweta Devi or Mahadevi Verma? The names are comparatively fewer when it comes to women. Fewer, but they still exist, don't they? For ten male poets, you will have four female poets as well, and four is sufficient. You introduce her to these four. Hmm? You have freedom fighters, you have scientists, you have politicians, you have sports persons. In, in all walks of human activity, you do have uh, women role models. And young girls must be introduced to them. Otherwise, they will simply chase boyfriends, just as boys chase girlfriends. And they'll dress up and try to act adult and get into all kinds of nonsense. 